In this example, we are going to use metric bit processors to remove unnecessary data from the events being generated by metric bit. As you can see here, metric bit has been enabled in this host called Riferay, and metrics from this host are being collected and shipped into Elasticsearch. Therefore, we are being able to visualize them using Kibana. The system module has been enabled in this metric bit deployment. And one of the metric sets that has been enabled in this module is called processes. Processes is a metric set that periodically collects the top processes that are consuming CPU in the target host. One of the interesting things about the processes metric set is that it does not only collect the information about which process has been executed, but also the CPU average utilization, the memory percentage utilization, as well as for how long it's been executed. Additionally to this, this metric set also collects information about the common line. Common line information are often included in this metric set for helping users in the ops team to troubleshoot problems related to the execution of some processes. However, as you can see here, sometimes these common lines includes additional data that are not necessarily useful Moreover, there will be situations where shipping the information about the command line is not particularly interested because the users will not use this for troubleshooting, only for visualizing the top processes that are consuming CPU for a given host. For this reason, we are going to use metric bit processors to remove this unnecessary data. The best way for you to use processors to remove data is to understand what specific data set from a given document you are willing to remove. So go ahead and use the discover option on Kibana to inspect the documents that are being indexed in Elasticsearch so you can better understand the structure of this document and the underlying mapping. It is important to know that if you simply search for all the documents into a given index pattern from metric beat, you are going to retrieve documents that don't necessarily include the information about the parameters. So we have to actually filter for the specific metric set that includes the common line. The best way to do this in Kibana is to create a filter so you can use the field metric set dot name and check whether it says process. Once you create this filter, you are going to visualize only the documents that include the metric set process. Now that we we find which document we are going to work, let's understand the structure of this document. So I'm going to pick one example here using the JSON tab so we can better understand how this information is actually structured. If you scroll down into this document, you're going to see that there is this field called system.process.cmd line that includes information about the process parameters. There will be another one called process.command line Finally, there will be this last one called process.orgs. This information is not only extremely verbose, but 
it appears in the document three times, and that increases considerably the bandwidth necessary to transmit data from the edge into Elasticsearch. Therefore, let's start the process of removing these fields from the generated document. Back to metric beat, the first step is to stop the metric beat execution and then we can actually change the configuration file being used. As you can see here, the module system has enabled the metric set process and that's why that information is being included in the set of events that are being sent to Elasticsearch. You have to change this in the configuration file that you are using with metric beat and go to the section that lists all the processors. Very often, you're going to see that at least four processors are going to be included out of the box with your metric beat deployment. They are meant to include special fields into the generated event. In this exercise, we are going to use the processor called drop fields. So to use a processor, just mention the name of the processor, which is going to be unique, and you can start providing the parameters of the processors. To better understand which parameters processors expect, go to the Elastic documentation. Everything will be explained in details there. The drop fields processor expects at least one parameter that is mandatory, and it's called fields. Fields is going to be an array of strings representing the actual fields that you are going to remove. The first field you are going to remove is called system.process.cmd line. Then we are also going to exclude the field process.command line. And lastly, we are going to exclude the field process.args. It is important to know that since we are adding this processor in the main configuration file of your metric beat, this means that this processor will be applied to every single module that has been enabled. That means that sometimes those fields will not be present in some of the other metric sets that has been enabled with other modules. So it is important for you to instruct your processor to ignore the fact that sometimes those fields will be not present in all the events. The best way to do this is using the option ignore missing, which defaults to false, but you can switch to true in this case. If you don't want to incur into this problem, you can optionally enable processors in moduli level. Processors can also be enabled here in your module configuration. And in this case, you wouldn't need to actually worry about fields not present in your event. Now that we have enabled the drop fields processor, let's execute metric beat one more time so you can start sending metrics back to Elasticsearch. Metric Beat has been started, so let's go back to Kibana to check whether this change had effect or not. If we refresh Kibana right now, we are going to see the new event that has been sent in the last five seconds. So if we inspect this first document here, let's check if the information has been effectively removed from the document.
As you can see here, the three fields containing the process arguments has been effectively removed from the generated document. That means that the processor that we have enabled in metric beat took care of processing the event and mutating it before actually transmitting to the configured output.